With the update to the D4 in the Bowers & Wilkins 800 series, everything in the line has received many a nice upgrades and tweaks, and the 804 is no exception. And in fact, in some ways, this is one of the models that may have benefited the most because there is a whole lot of improvements in this unit versus the outgoing D3. Now, before I get into the details of what makes this new generation of the 804 particularly special in my mind, don't forget to subscribe to the Gramophone YouTube channel and click that bell icon down there. You don't wanna miss out on any of this great stuff we got coming up, do you? No. And here is your question of the day. Out of the entire new range, what model do you most want? So as far as the feature set on the Bowers & Wilkins 804 is concerned, some of what you're about to hear may sound a little bit redundant if you watched our video on the Bowers & Wilkins 805 D4 or a while back on the Bowers & Wilkins 803 D4, as a lot of these technologies are, well, the same, but they just express themselves a little bit differently in each of these different units. As for the D4, we've still got the wonderful diamond tweeter up top like we saw in the 805 and the 803, and a very similar enclosure as this pretty much remains unaltered between the models. As sometimes the diamond tweeter, for all of its incredible strengths, can be maybe just a touch harsh or bright, and I found that to be particularly true in the D3 series or the previous generation. But in the D4, thanks to a little bit of tweaks to the dome, and mostly because this has a much longer Nautilus style tube on it. Essentially, this works like a reverse horn, dealing with the back wave of the driver as it flexes forwards and backwards, works very well. Moving on to the mid-range, the 804 is the first in the series to be a true three-way speaker, as in, we have a tweeter, that's one. We have a mid-range, that's two. And we have bass drivers effectively working as one, that's three, three-way three different breakdowns of driver category, tweeter, mid-range, bass drivers. Behind a woofer, there is a suspension generally made out of a woven fabric, and we call that the speaker's spider. But it's really just a suspension, a fabric spring, if you will. They call it the biomimetic suspension, or biomimetic spider. And it's actually designed to behave more like an artificial muscle. And you'll notice that compared to a traditional spider, it has a basically skeletonized look to it. There's very little actually going on there, and that is precisely the point. By getting rid of all that material, there is way less of something that we don't want moving around generating air pressure in the way. So it makes for a much more accurate mid-range response that also feels like it's lighter on its feet and faster because, well, it quite literally is. This is the FST mid-range. Notice how this mid-range cone seems to have almost no surround, as in the rubbery portion around the driver that's encasing it into the whole shell here. On this driver, this mid-range, there is a surround. You just can't really see it because it's very tiny and recessed behind the edge of the woofer. This makes for way less interference from the surround itself because that can actually get in the way, and therefore adds to less distortion in your mid-range and also adds a durability a little bit as you have less of this jetting out and being exposed. The other cool thing about this mid-range, we got the FST, we got the biomimetic suspension. But look at this material. This is called the continuum cone. Now, we don't really know what continuum is because that is an industry secret. But what I can tell you, the little we do know about it is that it's not unlike Kevlar because it in fact incorporates Kevlar along with a blend of other aramid fibers. And they just seem to make for a great mid-range material. And that's something Bowers has known for a little while now. Now, let's talk about the last of the three-way here. And these are kind of two for one. We have our two base drivers. These are six inch base drivers. And every time you go up a tier on any 800 series product, you basically get an extra inch on your base driver. Here you get six inch. You go to 803, you get seven. You go to the 802, you get eight. And then on the 801, we skip a little bit and we go all the way up to 10 because that's the flagship superlative model. I mean, why not? But these six inch base drivers are still based on the same material and the same design as their much bigger brothers, just scaled down. The base drivers are made entirely out of carbon fiber and carbon fiber is an ideal material for a base driver because it's going to be extra rigid and stiff while being very lightweight 
yet strong enough to stand up to the rigors of some serious throw and extension when you're pounding out bass notes. So why does this though have the thicker surround when we just went on about how this didn't? Well, the reality sets in down here when you get to a bass driver that needs to make some serious extension. You're just quite simply gonna need a full size surround that can go almost an inch out and almost an inch back. The mid range doesn't need to move nearly that much. You might notice that while the 804 D4 has an overall aesthetic much similar to its predecessor, the D3, that the top piece here is particularly different. And it's not just in the tweeter tube, but rather this is an entire aluminum plate that runs all across the top of the speaker. Really, it is capped off with a nice solid chunk of aluminum and finished in this lovely grayish white looking leather that contrasts so good against this incredible walnut finish. And don't even get me started on the brushed aluminum tube for the tweeter. The aluminum top plate gives a lot of rigidity to this cabinet overall, and especially makes for a much better mount for the tweeter. Behind the mid-range and base drivers, you have aluminum plates that these mount into that are then connected into the outer wood of the cabinet and into the matrix bracing on the inside. This now has a full aluminum plinth on the bottom, which adds to the weight and the rigidity. Aluminum on top, aluminum in the middle, aluminum on the bottom. Are you seeing a theme here? And this plate now puts the port on the bottom of the speaker coming straight out through the bottom and essentially giving us a down firing omnidirectional port, which I think is an improvement in every way. You still get the benefits of a relatively balanced port design, but with a little bit of extra gain of being mounted low and toward the floor. And now that it's omnidirectional, well, that's balanced just by definition because that energy is going everywhere into the room. And I tend to really like that on speakers. So if you're looking for an excellent gold standard floor standing speaker, but on the overall smaller size and just give you that hi-fi experience that you know you've been searching for for a while, the 804 might be your guy, especially, especially if you like things like soundstage depth and a little bit of extra sparkle in your music. Please go to gramophone.com where you can read much more about these wonderful, wonderful series. And also check the links down below because we've also done videos on the 803 D4 and 805 D4. So check those out too. So you can pick the model most suited to your needs. And of course, come hear these. Stop by and see us in Timonium, Columbia or Gaithersburg, Maryland. And we would love to demo all kinds of Bowers and Wilkins product for you. We will find what you need. As usual, let me thank you for being here today. If you had fun and if you felt like you learned something especially, please give us a like. It helps us out a lot, tremendously in fact. And if you leave a comment down below, I'd love to talk to you more about this speaker or anything else you might have interest in. Let me know what you'd like to see us review in the future because we want this content to be for you guys. And most importantly, don't forget to answer that question of the day. Thank you for watching. Be seeing you.